where roads there are flooded and closed. This is how things looked in Seaside this morning. Now, Joseph Dames has spent the entire week out on the coast. And Joseph, how's it looking out there today? Well, this morning it was a little bumpy. We had the flooded over water uh, along Highway 101. Now for our afternoon, it's looking a little bit better. Some spotty areas are making travel a little bit more tough. So we're going to run to our video real fast. Uh, you know, the day started with high water on Highway 101. Cars were forced to turn around just south of Seaside. Uh, near Highway 26, one empty car caught in the water. High tide and rising rivers caused bigger problems, though, in the Halem. The best thing to do is stay home, stay off the roads. Uh, there are some roads that look normal, but yet they're undermined. So if you drive across them, they could cave in. It's just right now we're pretty isolated, so don't do stupid things because we may not be able to get to you. All right, talking to ODOT, there are multiple 101 closures from the Halem South. Uh, here in Seaside, though, they're staying optimistic that they should be able to keep 101 open for the evening, which is really good news. Without the rain, they've been saying it should be just fine, especially for trucks. But for those low profile cars, that's something they're going to have to continue to watch. As you can tell, here's 101 South of Seaside. Once again, we're here this morning. It looks a lot better than this morning. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah.